Welcome back, boys and girls, to another fun and exciting day of our read aloud time. Remember, during our read alouds, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the book. So today we're going to read another school-based book. This book is called Brand New Pencils, Brand New Books, which some of you have gotten new pencils and books since you came back to school. Even though we're in e-learning, we still need them. Tomorrow's the first day of school, Father said. Do you have everything ready? I do, said Gilbert. I do too, said Lola. I'm going to school with Gilbert. Gilbert frowned. No, Lola, he said. I'm going to big kids school. You're going to preschool. At bedtime, Gilbert checked his new backpack. Inside were his brand new pencils and his brand new notebooks. He was excited about being in first grade. Lola had a new backpack too. Inside was her stuffed rabbit. Lola wasn't excited. Gilbert said, preschool is fun, Lola. Mrs. Duck is nice. Lola sighed. I'll go, she said, but I won't like it. The next morning, Gilbert walked to school with Patty and her mother. I hope Mrs. Bird is nice, Patty said. Gilbert stopped walking and said, uh-oh, what if she's not? Patty pulled his arm. Then we'd better walk fast. If we're late, maybe she'll send us to the principal. He looks really mean, Gilbert said. Let's walk very, very fast. When they got to school, Patty's mother introduced them. The very tall teacher bent down. Hello, Patty. Hello, Gilbert, she said, smiling. Please leave your things in your cubbies, then go sit on the carpet. Patty hugged her mother goodbye. Gilbert wished that his mother was there to hug too. Gilbert found a cubby hole that, that had his name on it and his photograph on it. He looked at the photographs on the other cubbies. He didn't know anyone except Patty. Patty sat down next to a girl named Margaret and Gilbert sat next to Patty. Patty talked and laughed with Margaret until Mrs. Bird turned the lights off and on. Their kindergarten teacher had never turned the lights off and on. Everyone suddenly grew quiet. Good morning and welcome to first grade, Mrs. Bird said. A boy named Philip held up a big fat book and said, I know how to read. Mrs. Bird smiled and said, well, thank you for sharing, Philip. This year, we're all going to learn how to read. Now, everyone, please take your seats. Gilbert was worried. He couldn't read that kind of book like Philip had. Gilbert took, took the de desk next to Patty's. Suddenly a big kid said, can't you read? And he pointed to the name taped to the front of the desk. It says L-E-W-I-S, Lewis. Gilbert turned red in the face. He didn't know there were names on the desks. He quickly got up and found the desk that said G-I-L-B-E-R-T, Gilbert. A boy was already sitting there. That boy turned red and moved to a desk that said F-R-A-N-K, Frank. Mrs. Bird handed out spelling books and reading books and special paper to write on. Gilbert could see that first grade was going to be hard. At snack time, Lewis shouted, Oh boy, chocolate cookies! Mrs. Bird turned to him and said, We don't shout in class, Lewis. That's a rule in first grade. She wrote on the chalkboard, Rules. Number one, use your quiet voice. Then she asked, What are some other rules that we should follow? Patty raised her hand and said, We should say please and thank you. Mrs. Bird wrote that on the board. Say please and thank you. Gilbert knew that rule and wished he had said it first. Mrs. Bird listed all the rules they could think of until Gilbert finally added, you should always sit at the right desk. So their other rules were keep your desk tidy, cover your mouth when you sneeze, and I can't fully read the other ones. At lunchtime, Mrs. Bird brought her class to the cafeteria. 
Gilbert had never eaten in the cafeteria with the big kids before. He looked for Patty, but she was already sitting next to Margaret. There was an empty seat next to Lewis, but Gilbert didn't want to sit there. He finally sat by himself. He wasn't hungry, but if he didn't eat his lunch, maybe he'd be sent to the principal. As he started eating, Mrs. Bird walked toward him. Oh, here's a seat, she said to the boy named Frank. Frank sat down next to Gilbert, and Gilbert saw that he had the exact same Martian Space Pilot lunchbox. Look at them with their same lunchboxes. At recess, Frank and Gilbert climbed all the way to the top of the climbing fort. Philip was a good reader, but he was not a good climber. When he tried to go up the ladder, he kept tripping on his big feet. At recess, they painted pictures to go into the rule book. Lewis was a good climber, but he was not a very good painter. He spilled green paint all over his desk. He yelled, Argh! forgetting all about rule number one, not to shout in class. After they cleaned up, it was quiet time. Gilbert thought that quiet time meant nap time like in kindergarten, but it really meant that everyone could pick out a book to read alone. Gilbert picked out a frog and toad book and brought it to the beanbag chair. Everyone was quiet, especially Lewis. He had fallen asleep reading Good Night Moon. When the bell rang at the end of the day, Gilbert wasn't ready to go home. He was still reading Frog and Toad or Friends when his mother came to pick him up. Philip was helping him with the words that he didn't know. I know how to read, Gilbert announced proudly. Take the book home, Gilbert, Mrs. Bird said. See if you can finish it. I have homework too, Lola said to Mrs. Bird. I have to write my name 10 times. School is very hard. On the way home, Patty and Gilbert agreed that Mrs. Bird was very nice. Then Gilbert asked his sister, did you like Mrs. Duck, Lola? Yes, said Lola, and I like my new friend. His name is Sam. I made a new friend too, Gilbert said, and so did Patty. Patty said, no, I didn't. Margaret is my friend from dance class. She's an old friend, just like you, Gilbert. Oh, Gilbert said. He, he was glad that he was still Patty's old friend. When they got home, Lola got a pencil and paper. She wrote her name 10 times. I can read, said Gilbert. Then she read, Lola, 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 Lola. I can read too, Gilbert said. And he read Frog and Toad are friends to Lola. He guessed at the words that he didn't know, but Lola said he was a good reader, just like Mrs. Duck. After dinner, the family went out for ice cream to celebrate the first day of school. When they walked into the ice cream shop, Gilbert said, look, there's my friend Frank. Lola said, hey, there's my friend Sam. And father said, look, there's Mr. Pug, the principal. Lola and Sam ate strawberry ice cream and Gilbert and Frank ate chocolate. Mr. Pug had pistachio ice cream with sprinkles on top. And Gilbert knew that as a rule, Anyone who liked sprinkles on their ice cream had to be a very nice person. And that is the end of our story today. I hope you enjoyed brand new pencils, brand new books as much as I did. See you tomorrow for another read aloud.